Hello and welcome to the video guys, it's Militated here and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these outfits in GTA Online. If you enjoy the video then please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel just in case you haven't done so already. Don't forget that you can also join the Militated Discord server where you can view and share your outfits with the community, the invite link is down below. You can also follow me on Instagram at officialmilitated but with all of that being said we are now ready to get on to the video. Okay, so the first thing to note about this glitch is that it will delete all of your player saved outfits apart from the one that you're wearing, so please do make sure that you're wearing your favourite outfit. The outfit that I'm currently wearing is also linked down below and you can make it at the same time as this video. To begin, we're going to press the start button and go over to online. From here we're then going to go down to swap character, which is then going to load up the character selection screen. Okay, so in order for this glitch to work, your main male character has to be in the first character slot. If it is in the second one, then this will not work for you. We're now going to go over to slot 2 and we're going to create a new character. If you're able to, then I recommend that you copy your main character's rank over to this new character so that you don't have any issues buying anything in the clothing store, and no, it will not affect your main character's rank. All we need to do is make sure that the character is a female, then press save and continue, enter a name and take a photo. Please keep in mind that if you disconnect at any point after creating the female character, all the way up until we're back on the male character later on, then you will need to restart the glitch entirely. This is because disconnecting stops the transfer glitch from working. Okay, so now that we have loaded into GTA Online, the first thing that we want to do is press the start button to check and see if the clothing stores have spawned in on the map. If they haven't, then all you need to do is go and find a new session. We then just simply need to go and head over to one. Once we arrive, we're then going to go into the accessory section and go into the earrings category. From here we're going to make sure that we're not wearing any earrings as we don't need any for this outfit. Next, we're then going to go into the gloves category and we're going to purchase the light woodland tactical. The gloves are the only thing that we need from the accessory section, so we're now going to back out of there and head over to pants. From here, we're going to go into the sports pants category and purchase the spotted muscle pants. To move on, we're going to back out of pants and head over to tops. From here, we're going to go into the overcoats category and scroll through until we get to the grey camo parker. If the jacket is open, then we're going to open up the interaction menu, go into style and go down to jacket. From here, we're going to make sure it's set to closed. The jacket must be closed for this to work, so please make sure that is done. Now that we have that out of the way, we're going to go over to the shoe section and start browsing the sneakers category. As usual, we're going to purchase the pink plain high tops. Before we go any further, we're going to open up the interaction menu and go back into style. This time though, we're going to go down to hood and make sure it's set to up. This is essential, so again, please do not forget it. Okay, so we're now going to go back over to the top section. We're going to make sure that we save this into outfit slot 2 and we're going to call the outfit tan 1. Outfit slot 1 must be left empty so again make sure it's saved in outfit slot 2. We'll be using outfit slot 1 later on in the video. So to move on to the second part of the outfit we're going to back out to the top section. This time though we're going to go into the work jackets category. From here we're going to purchase the peach camo closed field. In the gun running t-shirts category we're going to purchase the dark woodland rolled tee. Please make sure that is this exact t-shirt as it's the only one that this glitch is going to work with. Okay, so now that we have the dark woodland rolled tee equipped, we're going to go and make sure that we save this into outfit slot 3 and we're going to call it tan part 2. Of course, feel free to name it something else if you wish, but it doesn't really matter. Anyway, we're then also going to make sure that we save this into outfit slot 5 and we're going to call this one black part 2. Next, we're going to completely back out of the top section and we're going to start browsing it once again. This time though, we're going to go into the leather jackets category. Now go down to the bottom of the list and scroll up until you get to the beige stealth jacket. With that purchased, we're then going to back out of tops and go back into the pants section. At this point, we're then going to go into the utility pants category and purchase the beige camo knee pad cargos. To move on, we're then going to go back over to the shoe section and go into the boots category. From here we're going to be purchasing the black flight boots. So those are all of the clothing items that we need to buy, so we're now going to go and make sure that we save this into outfit slot 4 and we're going to call this one black 1. Again, just make sure that you have left outfit slot 1 empty as we need that later on. Okay, so you may realise that we still have a bunch of empty outfit slots. If you want to, then you can watch some of my other transfer videos and you can make those outfits at the same time. For example, the outfit that I had on at the beginning of the video is linked down below. Of course, that is completely optional and you don't have to do that. Now that we're done making the transfer outfits, we need to initiate a force save. So to do that, we're going to open up the interaction menu and go into style. All we need to do here is simply switch to another saved outfit and then close the interaction menu. You should then see a little orange circle in the bottom right of the screen indicating that the game is saving. If it doesn't appear then just wait a minute and switch outfit again. So now that it has successfully saved, we're going to press the start button, go to online and go down to creator. 
As expected, this is then going to load up the creator menu a few seconds later. So we're now going to go down to create a race and select tutorial. Then just press yes when this message comes up and you'll be brought to a screen similar to this one. We're now going to press the start button if you're using a controller or the P key if you're using a keyboard. Next, we're then going to head over to the online tab and we're going to go down to choose character. Just like it did the first time, this is then going to load up the character selection screen. However, when it loads up, do not select a character. Instead, you're going to go over to the female character in slot 2 and you're going to delete it. Obviously, do not delete your main male character, that is very important, so please be careful when you're doing that. After the character has been deleted, it will then load up the character selection screen once again, but do not select a character. Instead, you're going to look at the bottom right of the screen and you're going to press the button that allows you to return to Grand Theft Auto 5. Doing this is then going to load you down into a single player session, and when you're able to, you're going to press the start button. Now go back over to the online tab, but this time go to play GTA Online and press go. We then load into a GTA Online session shortly after. In the clothing store, we're going to start browsing the outfit section. Now go into edit saved outfits and you should notice that the outfits that we made on the female character have now transferred over to the male character. Before we go any further, we're going to make sure that we save the outfit that we're currently wearing into an empty outfit slot, which is our favourite outfit from the beginning of the video. After that's been done, we're then ready to start building the outfits. To do that, we're going to back out of edit saved outfits and instead go into the Gorka suits category. Now go down to the bottom of the list and purchase the full Gorka suit. Now that we have this equipped, we're going to back out of the outfit section and head back over to shoes. From here we're going to go into the boots category and start scrolling through. Now for this outfit we're going to be using the tan walking boots, but you can use whichever boots you prefer. Whichever ones you decide to go for, we're then going to back out of shoes and we're ready to move on. At this point we're going to press the start button once again and we're going to go back over to the online tab. Now go to jobs, play job, rockstar created, go down to verses and we're going to start up the mission called crooked cop. This will then load up the mission setting screen a few seconds later. All we need to do here is make sure that the clothing is set to player owned and then we're going to go down and confirm the settings. Next, we then need to invite one other person. Now you can use auto invite like I did to get a random person, or you can invite a friend if you happen to have one online. Alternatively though, you can also join the Militated Discord server where you can find someone to help you there. Again, the invite link is down below. Once someone has joined and you have launched the mission, you'll then be brought to the outfit selection screen. So we're now going to go down to owned outfit and press right once to equip tan 1. This puts the flight suit top on the outfit. Now press right once again to equip tan part 2, which will equip this vest. Of course this isn't the final vest we're going to be using for this outfit, but it is essential. Now just press ready and wait for the mission to start. Once we load into the mission, we're then going to open up the interaction menu, go into style and accessories and press left once on where it says gear to equip an earpiece. Now just close the interaction menu, bring up the phone and quit the job. As you can see, we'll still be wearing the outfit when we load into an online session. To move on, we're going to go over to the nearest ammunition and start browsing the outfit section. Now go into edit saved outfits and make sure that you save this into outfit slots 1 and as you can see I call this one outfit. Just to clarify it must be saved into slot 1. Ok we're now going to back out of edit saved outfits and instead go into highest coveralls. From here we're going to purchase any of the 4 from the bottom of the list that have the chemical mask. Now that's equipped we're going to leave ammunition and head down to the telescopes at Del Peru Pier. Sprint towards the telescope at an angle and press right on the d-pad as soon as you get near it. Remember it's tap to sprint not hold. If done correctly, the mask will disappear and you won't look into the telescope. Next, we're going to open up the interaction menu, go into style, and equip the outfit called Outfit. When you walk away from the telescope, the mask is then going to appear onto this outfit. Next, we need to head back down to the nearest ammunition. Start browsing the outfit section and make sure that you save this once again into outfit slot 1. After the outfit has been saved, you then need to completely close GTA and restart it. If you don't restart GTA, then the next part is not going to work. Now that we're back into a session, we're going to go into the outfit section and equip any random outfit. It does not matter which one it is. Then just open up the interaction menu, go into style, and once again equip the outfit that we just saved called outfit. You might need to equip it twice for the mask to appear. Make sure that your spawn location is set to last location, then we're going to press start, go to online, jobs, play job, rockstar created, and go down to missions. Start a titan of a job, which is the first one on the list. Then confirm the settings and press play. You'll then either spawn inside or outside of the ammunition wearing the gas mask and without the plate carrier. If you have a balaclava instead, then you need to restart the game as I said. So now that we have the gas mask and no plate carrier, we're going to go and make sure that we resave this into outfit slot 1. Please do not forget to save it and again, make sure it's in slot 1. We're now going to back out of outfits and open up the phone to quit the job. 
Now that we're back into an online session, we're going to go into the top section of the ammunition and go into the utility vest category. From here we're going to go down to the bottom of the list and we're going to purchase the desert camo armor. This is going to remove the rest of the outfit but don't worry about that. So we're now going to back out of the top section and press start once again. Now we'll just start up Crooked Cop the exact same way as we did before and I've just sped it up for convenience. Again just make sure that the clothing is set to player owned in the settings screen. Once someone has joined and you launch the mission, you'll then be brought to the outfit selection screen. So we're then going to go down to where it says own outfit and press right once to equip the outfit called outfit. As you can see, we now have this vest on the outfit. At this point, we're then just going to press ready and wait for the mission to start. Once it does, we're then going to open up the interaction menu, go into style and accessories and equip an earpiece. Then close the interaction menu, bring up the phone and quit the job. Now that we're in a session with the outfit, we're going to go over to the nearest clothing store. From here we're going to go into the accessory section and we're going to go into the gloves category. You're welcome to use whichever gloves you think would work best, but I'm going to recommend that you use the Peach Digital Armoured. You can use the Full Armoured if you want, but I think they're a bit too much for the outfit. Whichever one you decide to go for, we're then going to back out of there and head over to glasses. Again, feel free to use whichever ones you think works best, but for me I'm going to go into the gun range glasses and purchase the black gun glasses. We're now ready to leave the clothing store, so we're going to back out of glasses and head over to the mask store on Vespucci Beach. Before we go any further, we're going to open up the interaction menu, go into style and accessories and remove the earpiece. After that's done, we're then going to close the interaction menu and start browsing the hat section. From here we're going to go into the canvas hats category. For this outfit I'm going to be using the fall boonie down, but you can use the fall boonie up if you prefer. Alternatively, you can also use something like the fall combat helmet. Anyway, we're now going to go and save this into an empty outfit slot. With the outfit saved, we're then going to back out of hats and head over to masks. In the ski mask category, we're going to scroll through and purchase the desert camo spec ski. This of course is to match with the rest of the outfit. Like the hat and glasses, you can use a different mask if you want to. Whatever you decide to do, we're then going to go and head over to the telescopes at Del Piri Pier once again. Sprint towards the telescope and press right on the d-pad as soon as you get near it. Remember, it's tap to sprint, not hold. Next, we're going to open up the interaction menu, go into style, and equip the outfit called Full Outfit. The mask will then reappear under the hat and glasses when you walk away from the telescope. To finish this outfit off, we're then going to go and head back down to the ammunition and start browsing the weapon section. From here we're going to purchase a parachute from the top left and then we're going to back out. Of course this is completely optional and you don't need to have a parachute if you don't want one. Anyway, we're now going to open up the interaction menu, go into style and parachute and set parachute to on. For this outfit I recommend that you use the tan combat shoot bag. The camo doesn't really match but it's close enough, so we're now going to go over to the top section and we're going to make sure that we save this outfit for the last time. We're now also free to delete the outfit called Outfit, Tan 1 and Tan Part 2 as we no longer need those. For now, do not save anything in those empty outfit slots. We need these to be empty for the time being so that we can do the next outfit. To begin, we're going to go into the outfit section, go into Gorka suits and purchase the Charcoal Gorka suit. It's essentially the same process as before, so we're going to go and start up Crooked Cop once again and make sure that the clothing is set to player owned. At the outfit selection screen, we're going to go down to own outfit and press right once to equip the outfit called Black 1 and right against to equip Black Part 2. Once the mission starts, open up the interaction menu, go into style and accessories and equip an earpiece. Then close that, open up the phone and quit the job. Now that we have the outfit in free mode, we're going to go into ammunition and start browsing the outfit section. From here we're going to save it into slot 1 and call it outfit. Now that we have the outfit saved, we're going to go back, go into heist coveralls and purchase any of the four from the bottom of the list with the chemical mask. At Del Piro Pier, we're going to sprint towards the telescope at an angle and press right on the d-pad as soon as we get near it. With the mask on, we're going to open the interaction menu, go into style and equip the outfit that we just saved called outfit. The mask will then reappear when you walk away and we're going to head down to ammunition. Now go back into the outfit section and once again make sure that you save this into outfit slot 1. Before going any further, you now need to completely close GTA and restart it. Now that we're back into an online session, we're going to go into the outfit section and equip any random outfit. Then just reopen the interaction menu, go into style and equip outfit once again. Equip it twice if the mask doesn't show up at first. Like we did before, we're then going to start up the mission called a titan of a job. After confirming the settings and launching the job, you'll then be spawned into ammunition or outside of it with the chemical mask on and no plate carrier. Now just go back into the outfit section and save it into Salt 1 once again. With that done, bring up the phone and quit the job. This will then take us back down into a GTA Online free mode session and we're going to go over to the top section in the ammunition. From here we're going to go into the utility vest category and purchase the grey and brown armour. Just like before, this is then going to make the rest of the outfit disappear but don't worry. We're now going to back out of tops and once again restart Crooked Cop. Just make sure that the clothing is set to player owned and then invite someone. 
Once you get to the outfit selection screen, go down to own outfit and press right once to equip outfit. As you can see, we now have the vest on this outfit, so we're going to ready up and wait for the other person. Now just equip an earpiece from the interaction menu. Once that's done, close the interaction menu, bring up the phone and quit the job. We then spawn into a free mode session wearing the outfit that we just made in Crooked Cop. To move on, we're then going to go down to the nearest clothing store and start browsing the accessory section. From here we're going to go into the gloves category and purchase the black armoured as I believe they are the best fit for this outfit. Next we're going to back out of accessories and head over to glasses. From here you're free to pick whichever ones you want. For this outfit I'm going to go into the sports glasses category and purchase the grayscale urban ski. At the mask store we're going to start browsing the hat section and go into combat helmets. Now from here you have a few choices. For this outfit I'm going to scroll through and purchase the black dual lens but you can use either the quad lens or the black advanced if you prefer. If your lenses happen to be down, then it will remove the glasses, but don't worry. All we need to do is hold right on the d-pad to put them in the up position. We can then open up the interaction menu, go into style and accessories, and equip the glasses from there. Okay, so now that we have done that, we're going to go back into the hat section and save this into an empty outfit slot. As you can see, I called this one black outfit. Next, we're then going to back out of hats and go over to masks. From here, we're then going to go into the ski mask category. To match with the rest of the outfit, we're going to scroll through the list and purchase the black spec ski. As I've said before, you can use a different mask if you want to. Whichever one you decide to go for, we're then going to head over to the telescopes at Del Peru Pier. Sprint towards the telescope at an angle and press right on the d-pad as soon as you get near it. Now that the mask has disappeared, we're going to open up the interaction menu and go into style, and from here we're going to equip the outfit called black outfit. The mask will then reappear when we walk away from the telescope. Lastly, we're going to head down to the nearest ammunition and start browsing the weapon section. From here we're going to purchase a parachute from the top left. Again, this is completely optional and you don't have to have this if you don't want it. But we're now going to open up the interaction menu, go into style and parachute and set it to on. I recommend the black or charcoal combat shoot bag. Now I'll just go over to the top section and save this for the last time. You can then go and delete the outfit called Outfit, Black 1 and Black Part 2. Also, you're now free to go and use those empty outfit slots. But that is pretty much it, so thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel just in case you haven't done so already. Don't forget to join the Militated Discord server, the invite link is down below, and you can also follow me on Instagram at officialmilitated. But once again, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next GTA Online video.